Hi guys. Hi, this is Alice. Try again. Hi, this is Alice. Um, I'm about to start on my little walk. Let me show you. That's Mr. Tiki Man. All right, I have my water bottle. I have my mask in case I see anybody. So I'm gonna start on my walk. So you wanna come along? Come on down. Here we go. So, I made some progress today. Um, I have a backup plan for my brother in the desert. Hi, I have a backup plan for my brother in the desert. Um, my first choice is Angelic Mansions. They um, hopefully are going to interview him tomorrow. And the other place that I had gone to, second choice, is Aspen, uh, it's called Aspen Village Care in Yucca Valley. That's my second choice. But, but they both have rooms available. Uh, they both would take him during the quarantine. The place in Delaware, Ingleside, will not take him till after whenever they stop their quarantine, which, you know, none of us have the dates yet, so we don't know. So, let me see. Anyway, so, um, so I feel good about it. I hope, oh, hey, hi, Robin. I hope I'm making the right decision. It's funny, uh, it's funny with the pandemic, I think it makes me realize, like, how important family is, which I always knew, and I'm just thinking, I would feel better if my brother was out here in the desert. Oh, hey, Lane. Hi. Um, I feel better, and so like I said, so I called, I was calling like different places, and when I called my second choice place that had availability, and both places said they could take him even now, um, it just gave me more hope. My decision I have to make is, I don't think they're gonna allow him to fly by himself. So, either if I can find somebody who will fly with him, I already asked his daughter, she said no, but I have another friend, my friend Mark I can ask, if I can find someone willing to fly with him, um, that would be ideal. But if not, then I'm debating if I should just fly. I, I just listened to a newscast, well, you know, PBS, um, the head of uh, Southwest Airlines, he's trying to say, I don't know, he's trying to say that it's safe to fly, because that all the things they're doing, I mean, nobody knows, you know, it's like, I'd wear a mask and, you know, just pray, but I mean, I have faith in God and nobody knows, but if I have to, I think I might have to just, you know, fly, um, to fill into Philadelphia and then maybe just take some kind of airport transportation to the hospital and just go like directly there get him then just do a turnaround so not even like you know I don't even know if they like we're in lockdown so we can't stay at hotels here I don't even think you can stay at a hotel there and I do have friends there, but I feel funny to also because of this virus, like to say, oh, hey, can I crash? And then what if I was an asymptomatic carrier? You know what I mean? This whole thing has us all like feeling so, I don't know, like paranoid or something. Like just because we don't know who has it. I mean, some people, you know, have it. Oh, let me show you. This is, oh, there's um, lots of flowers up there. Let me get a little closer. Uh, I hope I'm good when I, you know, I'm so short. 
I'm only 4'11", so try to hold up the phone. I hope, hopefully I'll get better at this. Anyway, um, so I'm just thinking, like, is it the right, right thing? You know, his daughter, uh, won't even call him. So she, she doesn't have, um, as, you know, interest, whatever. And I'm just thinking, I just always have helped my brother. I love my brother. I haven't seen him. Uh, well, May 9th is the anniversary of my mom when she passed. Um, so I haven't seen, so it's six years ago. So I haven't seen my brother in six years. I haven't been back to Delaware. So if he was here, I get to see him all the time. He really, he just has a couple friends there, but that they hardly ever communicate. Daughter's not communicating. And one caseworker told me it's maybe it's better to have you know a family member who loves you to look out for you and now that I'm his guardian especially I feel more responsible because I'm supposed to uh, you know look out for him and uh, and I think like the best way to do that is by uh, taking care of him as much as I can. I mean, they're saying he needs, um, you know, total care. So, uh, so assisted living, I think it's like beyond what I could do. And that looks kind of eerie, doesn't it? Look. I love these big oak trees. Do you love them too? It's like so cool. So anyway, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, am I taking on to it? Like Lee, Lee has mixed feelings. I mean, cause he said, oh, it's gonna, he's gonna take up so much of your time. And I was like, well, I'm retiring. I'm gonna have time, you know? It's like, please, I mean, um, you know, I could, you know, take him to his appointments and uh, just everything. I think I'm thinking correctly. He's had a really rough life, but that he's chosen. You know, he went down a path of, you know, his bipolar, schizophrenic, but, you know, doing drugs, drinking for so many years. But he had, you know, first six years ago, he had the brain surgery. He was um, high and he was riding a bike and he fell in front of a policeman who took him, you know, so then he had the brain surgery six years ago. Then in January, he was beaten up very badly in the head and robbed, you know, left for dead on the sidewalk. Then he had pneumonia and, um, you know, for, first and, and first, he couldn't even talk. He was um, unconscious for a while. We didn't even think, you know, I was praying so much. We didn't think he was going to survive. And he did. And then I said, you know, God has a reason. God kept him alive. And, and that in itself is a blessing. And so that maybe if, you know, if I can help him have a happier, you know, life. He's 66, um, you know, and he won't be alone anymore. For six years, he's just been living like with, he has had, you know, roommates, but that he just mostly just would stay in his room and, you know, buy sandwich, watch TV. That's been his life for like six years and drinking, you know, it's like, so he's just been by himself. He cut off communication with his friends. Um, I love these big cactus or when it's more than one, I guess you call it cacti. Um, and so I'm just thinking maybe it, it's feeling like it's the right thing to have him come. Um, 
The next thing I have to do is, well, he has to be interviewed. I have to call the court in Delaware to find out then how I ask permission to do this. You know, so that's something I have not done yet because I've been trying to wait to see, you know, first my brother wanted to come, then he changed his mind, he didn't want to come, and then he changed his mind again that he does want to come. So now that he's thinking that, I'm like, okay, I gotta act, well the iron is hot, I gotta get him out of the hospital. Um, and, uh, but it's like however I have to do it. Look up there, I hope I'm holding it high enough. Um, I have to see if I can do it. Anyway, that's my, kind of my update, I guess, about my brother. Um, and Lee, oh, well now, Lee said, I mean, I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, Lee's job now may go to the middle of September, possibly, which is like, wow. And what's great about it is that, the hummingbird, we're gonna be able to get the stuff in the new house done before we move in. They already finished the primer, got to get flooring, got to finish the electrical, um, all these steps. I mean, we got to paint, but Lee said that we could just wait to like paint it. I mean, till we're there, but unless, you know, so now since we know it's, you know, more time and then I can decide down the road, you know, at what point do I, if I want to move there first, I mean, I don't know. So that's good. And I kind of, you know what's weird today? I think, you know, I'm a substitute teacher. So I had a list of schools and that I've had for like 21 years, by the way, because that's how long I've been subbing. And I said, you know what? I don't need this anymore. I can throw this away. And it's like all, many, many pages. And it felt good. Lee said, oh, maybe we should do some ceremonial thing. Like we should, uh, you know, burn it or, and I go, no, it's okay. Just put it in recycling. But it's just kind of, kind of hit home. Like, oh, wow. I, I guess I'm really retiring. I mean, I'm waiting till my birthday. So then I'll be 63 since LA Unified will pay me to the middle of June. So I figure might as well take that, you know, as I, um, so, and, and I'm sure I'll do, some other work. I still have part-time secretarial job. I mean, while I'm living here and uh, possibly even like when I come back because I don't know, it's gonna hire somebody else, maybe, but um, but I'll probably when the, uh, only when the um, quarantine thing or the, we get a cure, but see, that's what I'm kind of freaked out about. Till we get a cure or till we get a vaccine, uh, as much as possible, I've been hiding out. So I guess the idea of flying across country is a little bit scary. But I know I just have to pray to God, you know, to protect me. And, uh, and I think he will. I mean, I would hope. And I guess whatever my karma, dharma, I would hope, you know, as I, I don't know. I'm somebody too, I'm not crazy about flying. It's like I, some people love it. Look at the mountain. Flowers. Yeah, so we'll see. Here's more flowers. There's a big cactus. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, Lee didn't come with me today. He said, I'm gonna weed whack. So it's like, okay, weed whack. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Lee is like, look at the little blooms. You know, you can eat cactus. Only time I've had it's at, at Mexican restaurants sometimes. I've had, um, what is it? Cactus salad? Cactus in my salad. Yeah. 
and uh, but I never like got a cactus and cut it and I guess I'd have to find out what kind and I don't know it's a mystery to me but you know it's probably really easy and not a big deal but I just never did it so it's kind of seems like a big deal to me oh look at this view I'm gonna miss here also it's like it's so green it's so pretty I mean if you uh, I'm trying to remember if Lane has been to the house or Rob well Robin's husband's been to the house it's like um it's I just love it here too you know by the desert house I really love especially I mean it's, it'll be just beautiful and I just hope we all like get through all this because it's it's been so hard isn't it it's like I don't know and like I said I know I'm lucky I have so much I, I'm never bored I have like so much I have to do and especially dealing with my brother it's you just can't even believe it's like I am always like I told Lee I said first I gotta focus on my brother then I'll be able to go back to focus on moving but I said I gotta solve this and once I solve this I'll be happier and I could relax because I I just you know I like I said I've been kind of praying about it like what's the right thing to do oh hi hi Donna so um so yeah so I'm just showing all the on my walk the flowers the cactus or cacti succulents so pretty isn't it Look at those ones that like sprout, that sprout on. Um, I don't know, I said I could bring on camera. You know, I never did that. I actually never did that. On, I've got to learn more about this Facebook Live thing. Can I bring everybody on camera? Or I don't know how that works. Um, okay, you can see I'm not really, uh, I don't know everything about technology. Some things. Isn't this so beautiful? So I hope, uh, you know, I, I do this walk. I, I just want to encourage everybody to, you know, take a walk, to, to stay safe. And Donna, I'm so concerned in Georgia. I mean, I know, I know you guys are staying in, but I heard the news tonight, like just how, uh, you know, they've opened back up some things and, and how the death rate has uh has gone i i told my niece haley the two um please follow whatever california does because they in and we still uh we have not been given a date yet for the high risk people um so i'm waiting for that i got a message from my hairdresser because i messaged her saying when this is over my husband and i really need our hair done all i'm doing now is uh i braided it I'm braiding it every day, but just to make it look a little bit different, it really needs color, it really needs a cut, but uh, it's not possible right now unless I do it myself, which Lee is on the verge saying, well, I could cut your hair, and I go, it's still okay. I mean, you know, and I say, if you really want me to, I could try to cut your hair, but I, I would rather wait for a professional to do it, and, you know, they can't do it until they get the go ahead because they could lose their license. They can't do it. So, so um, I thought about even buying some henna, but what's really cool is I've colored my hair for so many years that I haven't seen the real, I still have some color in it, but I didn't know how much gray I had. And it turns out I have like very little gray and that's what my hairdresser had told me. And I, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't believe it. I thought, oh, maybe I'm all gray because I always color it, so I never see. But it turns out, no, because I haven't had my hair done. I have to look at my calendar, but I'm at least a couple months, I think. I think I haven't had it done a couple months. Or, or, yeah, which I've never, you know, I always go like every four to six weeks because I have it short and to have it look nice. So, I don't know. Lee says it's okay. I said, should I just keep braiding it? It's like, yeah, whatever you want. You know, he doesn't care, but I'm, you know, I wish that it was different anyway. 
I think everybody does. Some I keep, I keep watching all the videos of my friends. Like I've had many friends who've cut their own hair, who actually have done a good job. I mean, you know, I always thought it'd be fun to be a hairdresser. If it, you know, it it just seems like it's fun. But um, but like I said, we have to you know get through this together alone together they keep saying right get through this alone together and like i said i'm kind of feeling relieved to retire too it's you know i can't believe i'm already at that age where i can do it so i'm lucky for that and some people you know i know retired way earlier than me so um I guess it's all okay. And like I said, I'm so fortunate that I can, you know, get my teacher's retirement and get social security. So I'm kind of glad about that. Um, and so I'm, you know, submitted all the stuff. And so I'm just waiting, um, just wait, you know, waiting to, for them to process everything. So everything's in, so that feels good. This is my, that's, I always, I always like stop to show that's my favorite big oak tree. It's up the street from us. And uh, it's just beautiful. So anyway, um, I guess that's all. I hope I'm not boring anybody, but probably. Um, since Lee couldn't do the walk with me today due to weed whacking, he even said, well, if you want to show everybody me weed whacking, you know, I, but you know, it's kind of loud and you know, it's good he's doing that. We we have to do brush clearance because here it's a, uh, it's considered, you know, high risk crew fire. And this is the time of year that we have to clear brush. And they, they send you a notice saying, please clear your brush, you know, it's like, so we always do it in, in May anyway. So he's trying to like, even this weekend, we're gonna stay here and he's gonna work on clearing brush and everything, so that's okay. Oh, the birds. I think, are those crows? Wait, look, can you see them? Whoa, oh, this is weird. Oh, I hear something dropping. Hold on, let me move. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. Look how magical that looks. I have to be careful too in case, oh, hi. In case there's, um, we have like, uh, you know, whatever. We have bobcats, mountain lions, we have deer. I haven't seen deer lately. Um, so, like Leo says, be careful on your walk. You know, in case you see, what did he say? In, in case you see a mountain lion, you have to act like you're bigger. You know, I have a water bottle, so I guess if I had to, I could throw that. I mean, I have my mask, but um, I don't. This is the, yeah, my, oh, oh, I gotta put it on. Somebody's coming. Um, okay, oh, hey, Nucci. Okay, so anyway, so I will, um, thanks for listening and everything, and talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.